Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you that what are the reasons for choosing hexadecimal notations to represent numbers, right? Why is it important that we use hexadecimal notation or hexadecimal number system? when we have a binary number system, right? So what is the reason behind it? Let's see that. Okay, the very important and the uh, biggest reason that comes under this heading is that due to the complexity of, of binary numbers, right? Since computer deals with binary numbers, it stores data in the form of zeros and ones. And this is what the complexity or the difficulty occurs. Why? Because we have binary numbers in the form of zeros and ones. So it is very difficult for us to deal with large binary numbers. Like uh, if we have 8-bit binary number or a 16-bit binary number, or a 32-bit binary number, right? Since we know that binary numbers are stored in the form of bytes, so it can be 8-bit, it can be 16-bit, it can be 32-bit, long binary number, right? So when we are dealing with this much long binary number, like we have a, let's suppose we have a 32-bit binary number, what would be that? 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. We have 32-bit binary number, right? And when we are doing calculation with such big binary numbers, then can you imagine how difficult it would be? Let's suppose I want to add two numbers, add two 32-bit numbers, then I have to write the two numbers, one, one, zero, 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 whatever the numbers are, and then adding them together and doing more operations in terms of binary data. So it is difficult for us to deal with such numbers. Why? Because they are in the form of zeros and ones, they are lengthy enough, they are difficult to read and write, right? So, in order to make this problem solve or to uh, express these numbers in a more easier manner so that it can become easy for a user, for an operator to deal with computer data, what can we do? We can convert this binary data into another form or into a hexadecimal notation, right? And remember this hexadecimal notation is easier than this binary number. Why? Because it reduces the number of digits. Now, let me tell you how this happens. Let's suppose I have a binary number uh, with eight bits, one zero, one one zero one zero one right so to make this number readable and more easier to express what i am doing i am going to divide it into two parts i am going to make the two groups of this binary number what is that these are my four upper bits and these are my four lower bits I'm going to make two groups of this number, right? And each group is going to be represented in a hexadecimal digit, right? So this is where the hexadecimal number system has arised and solved the problem, right? I am going to express it as 0101. 0, 1. In terms of hexadecimal number, it will be equal to 5. And 1011, 1, 1, will be equal to b right keeping in mind that we have 16 distinct values in a hexadecimal number i hope you remember those values in a hexadecimal number what we do we use 16 different values 0 to 9 and a to f in order to represent any of the number so what we have done here we have converted this binary number in terms of hexadecimal and what we found, we found these two digits. 
So, can you tell me here that is it easier to remember this 8-bit binary number or this 2-digit hexadecimal number? What is easier here? Of course, this one. I need to remember only two digits, B5, rather than remembering this 8-bit binary number. So here, my problem is solved. In this way, I make the readability easier. This is how my problem is solved. So in order to deal with huge numbers, huge binary numbers that are of larger bits, right? What I need to do, I am not supposed to deal with those binary numbers that are in the form of 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. What I do, I just convert it into a hexadecimal number and reduce this form. I have, what what is basically the significance here? I am having only one digit for this four bit, right? So this is how I reduced my number. And similarly, meanwhile, what I have done, I have made my expressibility, express, expressing number easier, right? So I hope the problem is solved. I hope you have got my point over here. The very uh, simple point that is uh, why we have introduced the hexadecimal number. It is because we cannot deal with huge binary numbers due to their uh, in due to their representation in the form of zero one zero one zero one because it might get error when we read or write these numbers in calculations in uh, operating or in doing some mathematical operations over there so it is of course difficult to deal with binary numbers so what we have done we have introduced another number system that is hexadecimal number in order to make this this number smaller and more readable right so when here what we have done we have converted this 8 bit binary number into this two digit hexadecimal number and we meanwhile if we have a 16 bit binary number then how much hexadecimal digits do we need for 8 we need 2 and for 16 we need only four hexadecimal numbers hexadecimal digits right so this is how we reduced our digits number of digits and meanwhile we have reduced the um, reduced our problem as well we can easily deal with these hexadecimal numbers it is easier to remember easier to express easier to memorize those numbers those hexadecimal numbers because they are in they are in lesser quantity as compared to this 16-bit binary number. We only need to remember this four hexadecimal digits, right? Okay, so here we have an example, a past paper question of October, November 2018 that is related to this topic. Okay, what is this question about? State two benefits of using hexadecimal notation to represent binary values, right? Here we need to give two points or two benefits of using hexadecimal notations uh, to represent a binary number or a binary value, right? So we have discussed many of the benefits. Let me sum up all these and give you uh, points on that so that you can write it in a very organized manner in your exam, right? So let's see what are these points and remember you have a two marks quotient so you need to write two of those points right we will be discussing all of them all of the possible answers and you need to write only two points right out of them okay the very first thing that i have already mentioned is that it is easier to read write and understand for human right so we can write it as it is easier to read, write, and understand 
right that's why we use hexadecimal notations because it is more easier to read more easier to write more easier to understand for humans you need to mention human here because it is not a big deal for a machine right so for humans it is easy okay to deal with hexadecimal notations rather than with binary numbers okay now what can be point number 2 it is easier to memorize right easy to remember so it is easy or easier to remember why it is very clear because we cannot remember a large bit binary number like a 32 bit or a 16 bit and rather than we can memorize or we can remember um the uh, hexadecimal equivalent of that binary number because it is lesser in uh terms of digits right so it is easy to remember okay the third can be uh fewer errors can be made fewer mistakes right so i can write it as fewer errors made or we can make lesser mistakes right in dealing with hexadecimals rather than when we deal with binary we need to write 0101101 and maybe we get more errors or we make more mistakes in doing so right so it is uh here we will be having fewer errors in dealing with hexadecimals okay now what what's next um uh it uses lesser space when we say about display screen then it is uh it basically occupies lesser space lesser display screen right so we can write it as short way to represent binary you can it's a shortest way of representing a binary number why because it is occupying lesser display space or less screen right so i can make it more clear by saying that uses less screen screen or display space right space right so i need lesser space to write a big binary number a huge binary number can be written in a smaller space right and this hexadecimal number okay now what can be next it can make debugging easier right easy to debug why because we have less digits when we convert it into a hexadecimal number then we have lesser number of digits and the more the digits are less the more it would be easier to debug or to find out the mistakes find out the errors right so these are some of the points that we can write in the benefits of using hexadecimal notations in a uh to represent a binary number right so i hope this topic is clear to you and in the next video we are going to start the conversions how we are going to convert hexadecimal number into a decimal one or into a binary one and vice versa right so thank you so much for watching please share these videos with as many students as many fellows as you can so that we can uh, help each other right so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video take care